Hello everyone, I'm Banished Private here, and today I'll be showing you the leaked photos, preview photos of the new paints that will be coming to Naval Action with the unknown date for us. But, you know, the information about them have been known for quite a long time. But first, let's begin with the topic that Black Spawn created a long time ago on the forums in 2016, September 11th. This is the, basically the least with all of the currently known paints and also with the tag new next to names of the paints that still didn't come to novel action and most of them I will be showing you today how they're supposed to look like with few differences, few changes and few more, few less maybe the list is not exactly the same like it was in 2016 there are some different things but first let's start with all of these uh, listed by Black Spawn. So we've got Victory Paints, we all know them. We've got Santissima Paints, we all know them as well. We've got New The Ocean Paints, haven't seen them yet before in the game. And then we've got Third Rates, uh, so only Bellona's got paints and it's not going to change. There's just going to be one more paint for Bellona. The normal Third Rate as the ship is not going to receive any new paints. Fourth Rates, Agamemnon is going to receive some paints. India Man will get some paints as well. Constitution remains unchanged with free paints, and Ingerman Land is about to receive a new paint as well. From fifth rates, we've got the Hermione, and do not be misled here. Whenever the devs say Hermione in the files and different other places, they mean Santa Cecilia. When they refer to the French frigate, they say La Hermione. So here are two new paints for Santa Cecilia. We've got two more paints for a belle pool with a bunch of old paints still remaining. We've got four paints for Cerberus staying unchanged. The Carota one is actually a old look of Cerberus. If you didn't know, Carota is the paint that shows how Cerberus used to look in the old times of novel action. And then the final list is basically Endymion with lots of lots of new paints. Essex with one more paint, Unite. We've got a frigate receiving five more paints, a pirate frigate receiving one paint called Outlaw. Uh, surprise finally getting some nice paints, exactly six of them. According to at least, a Trincomalee is supposed to receive a paint, one more. It already has quite a few. And from the six rates, we've got little, little addition of some paints. A brick is supposed to get one Mercury, and Navy brick is supposed to get two of them. And finally, Niagara already has two paints that remains unchanged. Rattlesnake is supposed to get two more paints at least. Heavy Rattle is supposed to get one. Snow is supposed to get two. Beagle will get one. Gunboat, <laughs> always wondered about that one, is supposed to get a fire ship paint. It, it's just called fire ship for some reason. Uh, cutter, also one paint. So mostly small ships will get one or two paints. Most of them are called outlaw or rogues. However, that's that's pronounced. That's probably a French word. And uh, anti knight too. So now let's jump into showing you guys actually how the current paints that are po available in the game look like. Just for everyone to know because they're not so popular right now. They used to be very popular now. We're getting back to them. We'll get more of them in the game. So it's good to show everyone in novel action how currently available in the game paints look like. To begin with the old paints, we've got here the default skin of Niagara and the old paints. The first one here is a classic white, which used to be called black checker in the past. And of course it represents the way it looks like the name it's a black and white combined together. And the next one is Rouge Noir from the French, which basically means red, black, and also represents name, represents the way the paint looks like. Now we've got here Cerberus with the default paint and the Cerberus Carota, which I mentioned before is the way Cerberus used to look like first time when it got introduced into novel action. Uh, following paint is Cerberus French with the addition of a blue color which represents French color and Cerberus Navy with a dark theme and the last paint for the Cerberus is a Cerberus Sweet Dreams which also 
add some blue color representing the Swedish color. Now let's move to some of the new paints, starting with the Pickle, the beloved ship by a rover clan. So here we've got the duffel paint of the Pickle and you can also now take a look of the preview version of the Pickle's duffel paint. And now I'm gonna show you guys a paint called Pickle Rue, or however that's called. I will have to probably become a French expert to perfectly explain you the new paint. Uh, Rue can be trans translated from the French to red, but looking at this paint preview, it does not really show any red colors. So I guess we should rather use the translation Foxed, which means pretty much discolored, faded, and generally well worn. Pretty much depicting the dark theme of the of this pickle paint. Now we've got the image of the devil paint for the griffin <coughs> cutter sheep and we've got also the preview uh, view of the cutter's default paint scheme and we've got also the new paint that's going to come soon in the novel action the cutter rue just like the pickles same name and we can also see the you know the dark theme of it, just like in the case of a of the pickle. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the most useless paint in our action. <clears throat> now let's go something smaller, even smaller than a cutter, and by that I mean of course a gunboat. So here's the screenshot of my gunboat from the old days with the pig cloud in the background, and we've got also the preview of the gunboat paint, the default one. And now that's the gunboat fireship paint. Oh, that's a one sexy looking paint with the dark brown, red and white lines over there. And I hope that's just an inner, you know, an inside joke with the name of this paint that hopefully doesn't, you know, increase the chance of explosion of the ship. <clears throat> I also heard that Banish Privateer is offering 5 million reals if someone gets hands on this pain, um, I'm gonna be the first person to buy it. <laughs> now, with the dedication for the Gregor Rainsboro and his clan Snow, having a good message for these guys, we've got HMS Ontario, known as a snow in the game. This is the default view of the ship. This is the preview of the paint, default paint for it. And now, let's get started. The first paint, just like for the previous ships, is Snow Roo. Also with the dark theme and a white stripe over there in the center. Then, the next one is Snow Unite. And with this one, this is the first time we can see this paint. Haven't seen any paint in the game so far called Unite. This is probably originating from the French ships being called French frigates being called Unite, but we can't really make sure which one because there's been several of them. Um, the HMS Surprise was originally called Unite and was a French ship captured by a Great Britain, the Royal Navy. So maybe this one, but I can't tell for sure. Looking at the paint we've got here, kind of like a pink royal, a, a pink stripe in the center similar to the pink royal paint we've got two blue dark blue lines over there and the stern is mostly dark blue color as well i'm not a color expert i'm trying to get the most accurate guess about the color but if i'm mistaken try to not lynch me about that thank you everyone moving farther on with the shadow ships Next one on the target is a Rattlesnake, one of my favorite PvP hunting ships back from the day. So this is the picture of the Rattlesnake with the default skin. And now we're jumping straight to the paint. The first paint for like most of the previous shallow ships is Rattlesnake Crow. It's uh, as the others has the white stripe, little dark theme. And now things are getting more interesting. This is the first time we're gonna see Rattlesnake Outlaw paint. So Outlaw is fully dark paint, pretty much trying to imitate the pirate look of the ship. 
Now we're moving on to the next ship, which will be a brick, just a brick. And here we can see the default view, how it how it looks on the screenshot. And the first paint of a brick is going to be well the default paint. So we can compare it with the already hundreds of times seen before brick rue the dark version with the white stripe and the next ship a, a pretty much a brother sister ship of the brick is a navy brick a tougher version with few more guns and more hp also a slower version of it first with the screenshot of the ship itself now with the rope paint of it as well and something new we're gonna see now the kind of weirdly cold paint but according to files this paint is called black master and it is pretty dark pretty black i would say with also red stripes reminding kind of the rock noir paint or as the french would say rouge noir sadly i haven't found any paints with a mortar brick i think that's the brick that's used more often than normal or navy brick especially by the veterans and better players because it's very important for VR or VR. So I'm pretty sure lots of players would be really happy to see paints of a mortar brick. To spice everything up, now we're gonna go with the DLC ships, beginning with the Hercules, the fifth rate shallow frigate. So we've got this default skin that we've got right now in novel action and then we have the preview of this paint which doesn't really have a name the devil one is called base and this one is just called Hercules so my suspicion will be that this was the first proposed paint scam for Hercules uh, or maybe the alternative version of the original one who knows or maybe we'll get this one as a another different version of a Hercules paint in the game and now, following with the Le Requin, the French Chebec, Xebec, however people call it. And to start with, the default paint preview, followed by the one called Skin, Skin 1, whatever that means. The Le Requin paints have very weird, weird names. Probably just, you know, for the, for the coding and things like that. Doesn't really matter. This one looks like there's lots of brown, nothing really outstanding, brown, brown colors all around. So this kind of looks like a naked paint, who knows, but has it, it's different compared from the original one. Kind of darker brown color. The next one is called Colors, and we can see pretty much eye-catching their golden yellowish colors decorations being more yellow so that's pretty much the most eye-catching thing from that paint and pretty much grayish hull also followed by the another paint called black white which is probably just a classic white paint to be honest like in in the case of most other ships in novel action and then we've got the one called brown so this has few different types of brown color by the look of it and the last one from the Requin is called Requin Dark Paint which ironically is brighter than the default Requin paint so I don't really understand the reason behind these names for these paints but, but these are probably just working names when it comes to coding naming things like that it doesn't really matter when they'll be released or added into the novel action if ever they will be they'll probably have different names than the one they told you and finally finally we're moving on to the pandora a frigate shallow frigate that hasn't been added to novel action yet and probably some of you could already have seen the sneak peeks on the forum some pictures presenting it right now like here you can see the the hull the model of the ship of the pandora we can see the gun port over there the way it looks here we can see how it will look more in the game and also here from the front view 
We can see that it has two bow chasers and two stern chasers, quite a few guns on the main deck and also a few guns mounted on the weather deck, three masts and now also the preview of the duffled paint of the ship. So I've put quite a lot of work into this video, into this preview of most of the paints of the shallow ships in naval action, the one that we already have and the one that are probably most likely coming soon to the naval action. I would really appreciate guys if you could like it, share, comment, subscribe and leave a feedback if you enjoyed it, if what, what I should do in the next one upcoming because this is just the first part of the series. In the next one I'll be doing 5th rates and 4th rates most likely and in the final one I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show ships of the line. So pretty much 3rd rates, 2nd rates and 1st rates. So stay tuned for more upcoming videos like that and let me know what you think about them. Thanks around for watching and stay tuned till the next one.